Sports. It's in the game. Back in jail with no bell at 19. Up the road with a life is at 20. Made my first hundred thousand at 23. Now who is he or who is she to speak on my name when you ain't me? Why do you talking I'm overseas? Ziggy Smalls when I move it was all a dream. Keep on talking and talking and pump me up. Call me lucky, I guess I got dummy luck. Give it a play and then it is time. Better believe he gon' it up. Hey, he might snitch on YouTube. Say that you was up and put that shit on YouTube. Why you always rapping about it? Did you do? Why you always rapping about it? Did you do?
Never leave the house without the pack. Where my d at? Take a L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through it, dad. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, hype me up. I ain't got a but they hands to the ceiling. I ain't palm reading, but I got them in their feelings, yeah. Vanilla ice, but I'm iced out chilling. Was the good guy till they made me the villain. Was gonna get a room, but they gave me a villa. I got games for a center. 20 bands for the dinner. 20 dips in a sprinter. What's a two up, two up, two up, two up? Never been afraid to play my cards. What's a risk to a winner? Barely hang out with. What's a lame to a real one? Never leave the house without the pack. Where my d at? Take a L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through it, dad. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Never turn my back on my guys when they need me. Gotta get respect for my job, it ain't easy. In the good mental state of God is the reason. This is plain Jane season. Fresh up off the plane in Japan, I ain't leaving. They say seeing is believing. Well, here's a briefcase with a million dollars even. This all week, no days off. This hard work gon' pay y'all. I made myself a promise young I would never work a day job Put it in the safe Never know when I'm gonna need that Came here with my gang You don't know where your homies at Gave you a lot of game You don't owe me back You say you a boss Gotta show me that Never leave the house without the pack Where my d at Take a L and try to double back We ain't doing that Say she mad but I know it's cap I've been through The NFL on EA Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Minnesota Vikings. about ready to get us going and we are underway from downtown Minneapolis and he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19 are going to stop it as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. What's up? 
First play, here's Cousins. And that's complete to KJ Osborne. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A first down throw for Cousins. Throw caught there by Osborne. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and eight. A gain of two. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Cousins. Finds his man. There's Jordan Anderson. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 45-yard line. In motion comes the tight end left. Cousins again. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. Second and seven. Now Cousins. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. And the Bills are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Here's second and four from the 24. Going right back to Akers. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Yellow, yellow, yellow. On third and one, here's Cousins. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. field they'll stay put on fourth and one first, first. Black, black. Ooh, ooh. listen to me black, black. cousins in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted look at this middle of the field a breakaway And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, what a response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps an early case of anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. A lot of people came to expect the offense to light this game up, but so far... The defenses are stealing the show. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Ken Adewagu now out of his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. 
And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Cousins now. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Throwing his cousins. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook. 29 yards and the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead early on they have all facets of the game working in tandem yeah you give the defensive touchdown early to give you the first score and then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own and any coach we've ever talked to and we've had that conversation with them prior to the game they always say you know if we can score on defense or special teams that gives like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Play action now. Cousins. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And he is going to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Their first play from scrimmage is a pickup of 13. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the counter, it's Walker. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now a second and 10. They run again with Walker. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This now a third and four. Now Smith. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. Here we go on fourth. Smith going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, here's Smith. And, he, and now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Eagles. In our meetings this week, they kind of tipped us off. They wanted to play ultra-aggressive, forcing fumbles. They just did that right there. They took it to the next level, didn't they? You're exactly right, because everyone talks about being aggressive on defense and tackling well. But they were talking about getting after the football, making sure the ball was stripped out each and every time they lined up someone to get them on the ground. And the adjustment working early. Now Hurt's going to move him around. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Second down, here's Hertz. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Hurt sets up to throw it. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. 
So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. And Audible here to get a new look. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Now Gino on first down. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. And Smith's throw into the hands of Fan. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here as they've got it with a third down coming up. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Smith on third down. This is going to be incomplete. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They snap it to Smith. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And the Eagles defense able to hold. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in. But I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Throwing his hurts. It got his man complete. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will, and you're exactly right. The first quarter almost felt like a feeling out process, didn't it? Both teams, okay, what are we going to do? Looks like they ramp things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. Jake Elliott. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Off of play action, here's Smith. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Geno out of throw. Well, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, the offense, Charles, they were flirting with disaster, already backed up deep in their own territory. So the interception and the pick six ensued. That was a big play. It certainly was in the short field. Gave him the rare opportunity to take it all the way back and quickly. And once he saw that he had an open field, there's no way he's going to let that opportunity slip away and finds his way into the end zone. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. To throw is Smith. Has it complete to Jackson Smith and Jigba. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Brings up third and three. Throwing is Smith. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. They are going for it. It's Smith. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Yeah, he's got Smith and Jigba. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. 
They'll try to run it in, going option right. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Walker is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll try and run, Walker. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Smith now to throw. Yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Well, they got the ball already. They're not going to risk the yardage and running another fourth down. They decline it. And what was that they taught you in law school, that possession is nine-tenths of the law? I didn't go to law school. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Well, I figure I'm going to <laughs> give that to you anyway. Possession is nine-tenths of the law, and it's nine-tenths of this game, too, having the football counts. You're so litigious. <laughs> On the ground, it's swift to start the drive. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. In motion left goes a tight end. From the gun, it's Hurts. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Returnable here from the 38. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. Uh, the Seahawks will have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. First down, it's Smith. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. 
This one complete down the field to Goddard. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. Now they'll change things around before the snap. In motion left goes Smith. They go play action with Hertz. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. He got 29 yards that time. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Here's Hertz to throw. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, Charles, Jake after the first on, quarter on was just complete disaster for them, everything has flipped. I mean, it's 180 degrees in the other direction now here in quarter two. Championship effort right there. How about them marching almost the length of the field, coming through on their final opportunity to get the win. This is one that this team will remember forever as well as their fans. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled DJ down Dallas inside the, the 20. Return. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Jason Meyer is to kick off for Seattle. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Jason Meyer. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Play action. Here's Hertz. He'll buy some time right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Second and ten. Hurts. And that is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. This is Swift on the counter. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and eight. He'll look to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 41-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. This one out quickly to Watkins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two on the Seahawks' 33-yard line. From the 33, here's second down and two. Back to the running game with Swift. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Hurt's going to keep it running right. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Nice pickup, 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and it is 28 nothing. Eagles 28, Seahawks nothing. Jake Elliott to kick off for Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. There he goes, right side. Still going inside the 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Kenneth Walker, 75 yards. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Eagles kick over first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. Back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. From the 37, they work on second and six. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the... Through an opening, and there he goes. And he'll take this all the way down to the 15-yard line. 76 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. At carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Once again, it's Swift. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Swift is into the end zone for an eagle touchdown. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. 
Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf, 74 yards. And the Seahawks get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's good, and it's now 35-14. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. Knife's his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Swift going to try up the middle, finding his way down to about the 35-yard line. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. On third down, here comes Swift. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 106 yards on the ground here for Swift. And he's got a first down as well. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They run out of the gun with Swift. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. Yeah, the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. That one looks like he'll throw here. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked up by Trey Brown. And the Seahawks force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. So fly Eagles.